All right, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to your channel. Gonna be uploading this off-season alliance war, and they actually, the opponents actually decided to use, I believe it's Siphon. Um, so for Siphon, I mean, you guys should already know that if you get hit into your block, then the defender gains a block penetration buff, and then if you use a villain. <laughs> and use a special attack you will be granted I believe that's how it works uh, you'll be granted a perfect block buff so this first fight it was just Colossus on knockdown and so I just decided to use Wasp uh, so the thing is that Wasp because you can go into a combo and then just immediately heavy uh, and chain the two uh, it just works out in my favor so it makes the fight really easy however I did mess up here as you can see Wasp is doing like a nice, like nice amount of damage. Like, uh, like look at these numbers. Like, so obviously not when he has the protection up, um, but otherwise she is. So he's 5.6k, and I think that was a 13k, just so like 18k. And then I messed up there. Um, I, I think I just missed the parry. I think that's all that happened. Uh, really. Okay, we go for yeah, bait the head, a bait special two. We're gonna get into an L3 and go for a heavy, and that finishes off the fight. So ended up taking one combo. I also blocked the SP1 by accident. Um, the SP1 it covers a lot of distance if you're running away. So generally, what you want to do is uh, evade the first hit, let him walk in place, and then evade again. Uh, it's just a bit, it's been a while since I actually went and dodged that SP1, and at, I know at first it was a little tricky. Okay, so now I'm in Infinity War, just gonna start this fight a little different. Uh, so essentially, what I wanted to do is uh, get a parry and then go for a heavy attack. That way, uh, I can at least deal some damage uh, while I'm phasing. Go for the heavy here. Uh, block until he dashes in and then intercept with a special two and actually take him down so so far those two nodes haven't been too much of an issue um, I like how they extended the time so before it was six seconds for your window of opportunity to uh, deal some damage they've also decreased the amount of uh, uh, protection on the defender as well so before it was 90% now I believe it's down to 60% now we're going on to this magic fight, just going to use Quake, this would be a pretty simple fight. Uh, it's power alternator, so every 15 seconds, uh, if I have more power than her, then we basically just swap power bars, I'm pretty sure, or power. So, because Quake doesn't ever uh, uh, interact with power gain, generally speaking, uh, yeah, it's basically not even a node. Uh, plus this guy was really using full suicide so that fight went real fast uh, so so far full attack bonuses all around uh, going into my next fight which is a Mordo which they changed something about Mordo uh, and they've changed him several times as well I don't really know what to think of it but uh, yeah so you'll see it in this fight so he has Footloose, so if he throws a special attack, he'll be, he become unstoppable, and he'll have Evade Chance as well, and then also Connect Transference, uh, and Crumbling Armor. So as you can see here, um, oh, actually, now that I see it, I'm wrong. Uh, so what I was seeing on my end was that I was using my Heavy Attack, which should... Um, we should prevent him from gaining his power gain, but now that I look at it, um, yeah, Mordo has Force of Will, which prevents ability actually reduction. So, uh, yeah, that's why his power gain still popped up, even though, um, uh, even though he, he, or I had my heavy held. Okay, so on to the next fight. That fight wasn't too bad. Especially because Crumbling Armor helped us plenty with the willpower. Alright, so we got Doom next. Now, this is on Intercept. Uh, Ebb and Flow Intercept. So, Ghost is actually Godsend here. Uh, although, it's going to be a little difficult on defenders that um, are stubborn defenders going forward. So, this, uh, because it was just Siphon, it wasn't too bad. 
but I can definitely see uh, later on um, facing a, a uh, stubborn defender and it just becomes a real, real difficult fight. Alright, so as you can see, I actually got the perfect block here. Alright, I, I forget if I just go for the L2. Okay, he throws his L2, and then a block one hit, and then evade the rest. Now, what I want to do is just dash back so I can be phasing again. Uh, throw my L2, and then that finishes off the fight. So, not too bad. I took a little bit of damage, but... Um, for what it's worth, that L2 does hit hard and he has a lot of block penetration too, so uh, overall we made out pretty well. Next up we have a Void on here, uh, which this is the reason why I brought Ghost instead of any other champion, because I could get the Intercept, plus she shrugs off all the debuffs at the start of the fight. So I'll be able to not only get rid of the Intercept node, but uh, shrug off the debuffs uh, from full suicide. Okay, and here I just go for the L2. Unfortunately, the last hit I believe was under recoil, uh, so it didn't do the full damage, but I think we would have had to use another L2 anyway. Go for the intercept, shrug off that debuff, uh, base SP1. Now we are gonna have to throw another special attack, and we do. And it takes him down. So that SP2 actually did 66k damage, which is really nice. Uh, and so far we're doing good. I did end up having somebody else take that mojo. Um, I wasn't... Uh, so if I did it with Quake, it would have been really slow, slow. Uh, really, really slow uh, fight. So had somebody else take it. Um, and there was another fight before this as well. But I think it was a Sinister actually. And I didn't have a good counter. But now we're onto this Modok. I believe it's a window of opportunity, so I can't really stun him. And also, I believe it's brute force. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff on this guy. And I do end up dying here, but this really wasn't a fight I should have taken, if I'm being honest. Um, I, I think Modok in particular is one of those fights that it's, it's kind of like bringing in Quake against Loki. It's just one of those fights where, like, yeah, you just really don't want to, and you do it. And so, essentially the strategy here is to try to phase as many hits as I can. Uh, I got in the re-parry there, and so I hit him a couple times just so that the uh, brute force wasn't weighing in on me. Okay, just gonna phase. Parry, and then I forget that he has Limber as well. I'm uh, going for the SP2, and I know this is going to kill me because I have Suicide, so I died there, which is unfortunate. Missed the first of the L2 as well. So, yeah, took an L here. Uh, ended up going, uh, going in again, but uh, instead of using Ghost, I used Quake. So it's only 100,000 health. Which uh, is still like a pretty, pretty decent chunk. That, like when I saw the the health pool in this guy, two hundred and forty-seven thousand. I was like, damn, this is a beefy boy. Uh, but uh, overall, it wasn't too bad, especially with the five-minute timer. I think that is such a great addition uh, to Alliance Wars because generally, you're fighting against the clock. Um, you're hoping that you don't time out, and uh, I think that's the biggest worry in Alliance War when you're choosing your attacker, is that you do not want to time out. So this is definitely a great positive change to Alliance War going forward. Uh, and yeah, we end up taking him down. So now all that's left is the Alliance War boss, and I kind of just wanted to try it out. I've never taken Doom with Ghost, but uh, this is a rank 3 Doctor Doom with Siphon on as well. So this is not going to be uh, a walk in the park. I can't just bait heavies because this guy is going to deal an absurd amount of damage through my block. I am going to heal up a little bit. Uh, I basically just wanted to heal up enough so I feel comfortable throwing specials in spite of my recoil. Uh, so yeah, so the only thing we have to worry about is he's stun immune and he has Siphon on. So we preferably do not want to block. So luckily this guy is running suicide, so as you can see he's losing 3,000 health every tick. So a lot of the damage that we actually dealt to him 
is through suicides, uh, which is pretty important. So we really didn't do much here. Uh, I believe like 30% of his health was through suicides. And then, uh, yeah, the fight goes, it's over pretty fast. He throws L2. So I think I just bait the L2. Uh, phase his first two hits, and then I'm not sure if I missed the evade or the one hit of his L2 through my block just dealt all my health, uh, and then it was over. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. That is the war video. I uh, just wanted to put it out real quick. Tomorrow will be the Abyss Nexus 6-star, so keep an eye out for that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.